Amazon. How much is quote? Can an aging mall get new? Well, 1988 had debt failed, and the once dominant. The retail industry has had a difficult time in the last 18 months. Even before the pandemic halted in-person purchasing, some major retailers have also begun to scale back business and close stores across the United States. A well-known retailer, Kmart, has declared that all but four of its existing locations will close in the upcoming weeks. Another known shoe retailer, Foot Action USA, which is owned by Foot Locker, has also announced closures in which many locations have already started shuttering stores. In today's video, we are going to talk about Kmart, a big box discount department store chain in the United States, whose owners and proprietors have chosen to discontinue all of the stores one by one, as well as Foot Locker throwing the towel in at its foot action stores. Now, without any further ado, let's get started with the video. Like many of us know, the origin of Kmart started when Sebastian S. Kresge established the S.S. Kresge Corporation in 1899. The first Kmart location opened in Garden City, Michigan on March 1, 1962. An additional 17 Kmart shops debuted, with sales management exceeding $483 million during the first year of service. In the 1990s, Kmart had roughly 2,400 locations and 350,000 workers in the United States and Canada being ahead of Walmart. Its brands included Payless Pharmacies, Borders Bookstore, and Sports Authority along with many more. It entered 2002 as the third largest discount retailer chain in the United States after falling behind Walmart. Now the question everyone asks is, what led to the downfall of Kmart? In 2002, the company entered bankruptcy before being purchased out for $11 billion by hedge fund manager Eddie Lampert a year later. He later combined Kmart with Sears, another struggling retailer, in an attempt to catch up with Walmart in 2005. This move, however, wasn't received well by its customer base, as Sears's home goods and Kmart's household items did not work well together. Another issue was that Kmart struggled to keep up with Walmart and Target, which were gaining market share. Kmart also failed to identify its intended strategy and had no real focus. Walmart, for example, focuses on having low prices for everything, and that is what you remember Walmart for. Target as well has its very own strategy, where it also focuses on low costs, but makes sure the overall aesthetic of the store is appealing with its expect more and pay less slogan. The aesthetic of the store was also not being taken care of, as a typical Kmart store often looks pretty dated and run down, due to the lack of its stores being renovated. There are also other reasons in which we will not cover, as the bankruptcy of Sears Holdings in 2018 and the formation of Transform Hold Co. The company recently announced plans to shutter two more U.S. stores, leaving four locations remaining in Avenel, New Jersey, Westwood, New Jersey, Miami, Florida, Long Island, New York, there are also four locations remaining in the Virgin Islands, which are a part of U.S. territory. Despite the company's failure in the United States, Kmart continues to do well in Australia. Moving on to the shoe retailer known as Foot Action USA, which has been disappearing from malls in recent months due to Foot Locker Inc. stating it would phase out the banner. Foot Action has been owned by Foot Locker since 2004, after purchasing it from Footstar Inc., who had just entered bankruptcy. Ironic enough, Sears Holdings would later agree to obtain Footstar's intellectual property, which included the Tom McCann brand name. Foot Locker Inc. originally announced in May of 2021 that it will transition approximately one-third of its most successful foot action stores to other banners over the rest of 2021, while shuttering the remaining locations as their leases expire during the coming two-year period, being 2022 and 2023. The reasons are that 85% of Foot Action stores are located in proximity to one of Foot Locker's other banners, being Champ Sports, House of Hoops, and Sidestep. COVID-19 pandemic has also been said to play a factor in eliminating the name, despite the company posting an impressive 82% increase in profits year over year, according to Yahoo Finance. This wouldn't be the first time Foot Locker Inc. discontinued a nameplate, in which Lady Foot Locker announced its closures back in 2015 due to lagging performance. 
This brings us to the end of our retail outlet news. Are you saddened by the slow demise of Kmart and Sears? Are you also sad to see the phasing out of the foot action stores? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. See you next time.